Good morning, children. How are you today? Today is a wonderful day, and I hope you are as upbeat as our girlfriends here. She's like saying, yo, guys and girls, are you ready for Sunday school? Yes, we are ready. Great. Let's begin by prayer, shall we? Our Father in heaven, thank you for this wonderful day. As we worship you in our homes, please give us listening ears and teachable hearts to receive your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now let's worship God by singing this song that reminds us that all things are created by God. Please sing together and raise up your voice in praising God. Praise the Lord. Now it's time for a Bible story. We will be learning from the book of Genesis in the Bible about how this world come to be. Everything in it, including us, humankind. Let's first watch a video created by Brother Michael of NFLC based on Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was formless and empty, and waters and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. 
God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning the first day. The second day, God said, Put an expanse between the waters on the earth and the waters above. And God called the expanse sky. On the third day, God said, Let dry ground appear and separate the waters on the earth. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the land produce vegetation, plants and trees, The land produced plants and trees bearing fruit according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. The fourth day God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to give light on earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the sun to govern the day, and the moon to govern the night. He also made the stars and set them in the expanse of the sky. And God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, Let the waters be filled with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea, and every winged bird according to its kind. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, livestock, creatures that move along the ground, and wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested. In the beginning, there were no trees or flowers or birds or animals. There were no stars or even the sun or moon. There were no people. There wasn't even a world, but God himself was there. He was there before anything was made. And he had a plan to make the world in a most wonderful and powerful way. All God did was speak. By his word, he said, Let there be light. And when there was nothing, light appeared. God divided the light from the darkness. That is day one. Then God spoke again, and the sky and waters separated. They went right where God said they should go. That is day two. God said, let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered around the dry land, he called seas. God made all types of trees and plants and flowers to grow on the land. He put sun in the sky to shine brightly by day. He made the moon and stars to shine gently through the night. Now that God's wonderful earth had sunshine and flowers, trees and fruit, air and water, it was ready for living creatures. God filled 
the streams, lakes, rivers, and oceans with all kinds of fishes. He created large and small, plain and colorful water creatures. God created birds to fly in the air above the earth. He made every bird there is, the tiny hummingbird, the lovely red cardinal, and the powerful eagle. Then God created animals of every kind. He made the cow and the goat, the zebra and the fox, the snowshoe rabbit and the armadillo. He created tame animals, wild animals, and crawling animals that could get the food and water they need from God's wonderful world. And last of all, God made a man and a woman to rule over everything he had created. They were made to know God, love him, and serve him. God made them, and he made all things for his own glory. When we talk about God's glory, we are talking about how great and good God is. God made everything to praise him. When God was finished with all that he created, he looked at everything he had made and saw that it was very good. God was pleased with the work he had done, and on the seventh day of creation, God rested. Now, our memory first for today is taken from Genesis 1, verse 1. Let's read this verse twice and try to memorize it, all right? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1, verse 1. Have you remembered it? Good. Before we move on, do you realize how powerful this Bible verse is? In the beginning. That means before anything else. There, God is. He was there. He is there. He will be there. So that means he is eternal, forever existing. Amazing, right? Now let's review our catechism. Who made you? God. What else did God make? God made all things. Why did God make you and all things? For his own glory. How can you glorify God? By loving him and doing what he commands. Why ought you to glorify God? Because he made me and takes care of me. Now let's review. How can we glorify God? By doing his commands. To love God, to love others, and to love ourselves. Let's close our eyes and pray. Dear Lord, thank you for making the heavens and the earth. You just spoke, and by your word, it happened. Thank you for making all things good and beautiful. Please help us to glorify you by taking care of the world and by loving one another, fellow human being created in your image and likeness. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's now praise God with the doxology.
right children have a great week ahead don't forget to enjoy and care for the world and the people that god has created around us see you next time Thank you.